Connections, written and illustrated by Scholar Anderson. Sharpen a stone. Two. Make some trousers. Four. Weave a basket. Six. Keep a goat. Eight. Spin a thread. Ten. Weave some cloth. Twelve. Weave cloth quicker. Fourteen. Do a calculation. Sixteen. Turn a handle. Eighteen. Plug in a wire. Twenty. Store some info. Twenty-two. Use a chip. Twenty-four. Get a computer. Twenty-six. When did it happen? Twenty-eight. Index. Thirty. Author biography. Thirty-one. Did you know that inventing spears in the Stone Age led to a series of inventions linking to microchips in computers today? This book shows how each step of the way through history. Sharpen a stone. About three million years ago, humans came up with a really clever idea. They began to make tools and weapons from sharpened stone. This time is called the Stone Age. Over many thousands of years, humans became very good at making spears and harpoons to hunt animals and fish. They made knives to cut up the meat and discovered how to cook it on a fire. Make some trousers. People of the Stone Age were hunter-gatherers. They were always on the move, living in different places. They had to keep moving to search for animals to hunt and fish to catch. They also gathered fruit and nuts to eat. People learned how to clean animal skins and make needles from animal bones. Now they could sew the skins together and make clothes. The clothes help protect them from the weather. Weave a basket. They had discovered that clothes provided protection. People realized that they could make things by collecting thin strips of stuff like twigs, grass, leaves, stems, and twisting or weaving them together in different ways. They could weave cloaks, or baskets and bags, or ropes, or nets, or even a roof for a house. Keep a goat. This gave people another clever idea. They stopped moving around, hunting and gathering. Now life was easier. People kept animals and grew food in one place. They became farmers. They kept cattle for their meat and milk, and used them to pull carts or plows. They also had sheep and goats. Perhaps someone saw some wool twisted round a twig by the wind, and had another clever idea. Spin a thread. People began to twist bits of wool together. They used something called a spindle to do this. Someone held the spindle and spun it round and round. They pushed bits of wool towards the spindle and spun it into long threads. People discovered they could make thread from other things. Cotton came from a small bush. Linen was made from the tough stems of a flower. Silk was gathered from the cocoons of silkworms, a kind of caterpillar. Weave some cloth. Then the threads were woven into cloth. This was done on a wooden frame called a loom. Threads were tied on the loom from top to bottom. A piece of wood called a shuttle pulled another thread over and under the threads on the loom. The cloth was made into clothes. Looms became bigger. Now wider pieces of cloth could be made. The shuttle went over some threads and under others. This made a pattern. Weave cloth quicker. About two hundred years ago, a man called Joseph Jacquard came up with an idea that made weaving quicker and easier. He took some paper with lots of squares on it and painted a design for some weaving.
A machine was used to punch holes in pieces of card. The holes were in the same pattern as the painted design. The cards were tied together in a big loop and attached to the loom. Jackard had invented a binary system. Binary means that just two options are possible. On Jackard's card, there was either one hole or no holes. The threads on the loom are attached to rods and levers. The rods are pushed towards the cards. If there is a hole in the card, the rods go through and the levers don't move. If there is no hole, the rod bangs against the card and this moves the lever. The lever lifts a thread. This meant that the jacquard loom could weave cloth into very complicated patterns. Do a calculation. People have always needed help to work things out. They use their fingers to do simple sums. Thousands of years ago, someone invented a way of working out more difficult sums. It used beads on wires and was called an abacus. Working things out is often called computing. About 400 years ago, a man called John Napier invented another way of doing sums. He had an idea to put numbers on a set of sticks. The sticks were moved around to help with calculations. They were given the nickname Napier's Bones. Another invention for making calculations was called a slide rule. It was like an ordinary ruler, but with lots more numbers on it. Bits of the ruler slid backwards and forwards to help work out difficult sums. Turn a handle. Charles Babbage was an inventor who wanted to make machines do much more difficult calculations. His first design had a big handle which needed to be turned. He put numbers on lots of bits of metal. They whirled round and round as the machine did the computing. Next, Babbage wanted to make an even better machine that would do even more calculations. He worked with a woman called Ada Lovelace. She was a very clever mathematician. They decided they could use Joseph Jacquard's invention of punched cards to work their machine. Charles Babbage called his inventions engines, but they were actually the very first computers. Sadly, he never raised the money to finish building them. Plug in a wire. Babbage used steam engines to power his machines. When people discovered how to make electricity, machines that did calculations really began to develop. Inventors designed all sorts of calculating machines to work things out. Many of them were enormous. Some filled a large room. They were also expensive to make, so only governments, universities, and big companies could afford them. The machines needed lots of people to work the hundreds of valves, switches, and wires. If something went wrong, someone had to crawl into the machine and spend days, even weeks, trying to find the fault. Store some info. Calculating machines became smaller and cheaper. Now they were called computers. A computer programmer used a special machine to punch holes in cards. The cards told the computer what to do. Some of them used punch cards to do calculations and store information. Other computers used magnetic tapes to store information and do calculations. Computers became smaller and smaller. Now people could have a computer of their own at home. Information was stored on floppy disks. Use a chip. About 60 years ago, microelectronics was invented. This meant that all the valves and switches and wires in computers could be put into one little silicon chip. Silicon is a special type of stone. Now, computers could be made even smaller. Just like Joseph Jacquard's weaving loom, Computers use a binary system to work. 
Jacquard used punched cards with holes or no holes. Computers have little switches that are either on or off, one or zero. Electricity whizzes through the computer, turning these numbers into words, sounds, or pictures. When the computer does this, 01100001, you see A on your screen. When the computer does this, 01000001, you see capital A on your screen. When the computer does this, 01100010, you see B on your screen, and so on. Get a computer. Today, there are computers in all sorts of things. In cars. In robots that build cars. In phones. In washing machines. In planes. In games. In hospitals. Imagine if no one had sharpened a stone to make a spear all those years ago. Many of the things we take for granted today, computers, aeroplanes, woven clothes, might never have been invented. Or perhaps a Stone Age man or woman might have had another idea which triggered off inventions in a totally different way. Today's world would look totally different with a different set of connections. When did it happen? First stone tools, about 3 million years ago. Stone age, from about 3.5 million to 11,000 years ago. Farming, about 11,000 years ago. Weaving, about 8,000 years ago. Abacus, about 5,000 years ago. Napier's bones, slide rule about 400 years ago. Jacquard loom, about 200 years ago. Babbage's engines, about 160 years ago. Big computers, about 70 years ago. Microchips, about 46 years ago. Personal computer, about 40 years ago. Laptops, tablets, mobile phones, in the last 30 years. Index, binary, 15, 25. Computer, 2, 19, 22 to 27. Cloth, 12, 13, 15. Hole, 14, 15, 22, 25. Hunt, 3, 4, 8. Microchip, 2. Spear, 2, 3, 27. Stone, two, four, twenty-four, twenty-seven. Sum, sixteen, seventeen. Thread, ten to thirteen, fifteen. Weave, fifteen. Author biography. Schooler Anderson is an author and illustrator of children's books, including picture books, nonfiction, activity books, and fiction. As a child, he spent much of his time writing stories and illustrating them. He studied drawing and design for magazines and books at Glasgow School of Art. He started working as an illustrator at a university in London and has since written books for many publishers. He particularly loves history. He has written other books for Cambridge Reading Adventures, Sticks, Bricks, and Bits of Stone, and ships, boats, and things that float. Schooler now lives in his hometown of Argyle and enjoys gardening and painting. Connections From making stones into spears to microchips and computers, what's the connection?